it's me Allegra. Babes, today I was able to put together a tutorial for this look here and I used my new favorite eyeshadow palette. This is the Violet Voss Ride or Die palette and I was able to pick this up at the Sephora, Sephora VIB sale so this palette is really expensive. Definitely the most expensive palette I've ever purchased. It was $75 and I couldn't resist it though because of the sale and then babes the colors I mean look at <laughs> look at those colors what I think what really drew me to it initially was these yellow and gold tones I just never had seen such you know the they're so <laughs> I just love that yellow gold I had never seen that you always see I feel like I, I just had never seen such a yellow gold before in an eyeshadow and I was like oh I'm gonna need to get that so I ordered it and I was like blown away <laughs> when I got it in my hands I was truly blown away but I have to tell you about my honest experience so the first time that I played with it I had never I've never had a pal I've never had this experience before these pigments and these shadows the mattes are actually made I truly believe, now I don't know Violet Voss formulation, but the specifics of their formulation, but these colors are made to be blended together to create all different colors. So when I first got this palette though, I was trying to pack on these chocolate colors and they really weren't coming out very pigmented I guess or they really weren't packing well and I didn't understand why because that has been my experience with most palettes that I've ever used is that I will pack on different colors and to build intensity but these colors were not were not doing that and I didn't understand why and I was actually like really upset I said oh my god I'm gonna return this and I never returned anything so I was really shocked about that but then I started playing with it more I said since I'm returning it let me try some more before I return it so I started playing and I started mixing the colors together and then I saw that when you mix them they become like all different things and then they just blend on your eye and so they actually create an, a totally unique effect that is not like any eyeshadow palette I've ever or eyeshadow that I've ever used before. They blend together so seamlessly there is no harshness at all even if I think even if you tried I don't think you could do it I think they're so seamlessly made to melt and blend and do all kinds of amazing things together the colors and the shadows so that's why <laughs> I am so freaking addicted to this eyeshadow palette it is so much fun it makes you feel so creative when you see all of the colors melting and mixing together and they mix so beautifully together I don't think you could go wrong. I think <laughs> because of the way that the that the uh, color choices, they just all blend together. So you can't go wrong. So you could just you just make gorgeous, amazing effects. So I think this is hands down the most fun I have ever had with an eyeshadow palette. And like I said, I was really upset. So I went from like zero to the opposite end of the spectrum because now I'm and I could just and I just have to say, I mean the packaging feels so nice this is such quality and there really is something nice about having nice quality packaging and it is cardboard but it's very thick and it just feels really nice in your hands but the hologram the color the bow it makes me want to reach for it every time I have not used another palette since I have this and I did buy the Huda and I haven't used it I just want this. This is the only palette that I want. I haven't even reached for it. I have no desire to reach for it. <laughs> That's my little tr story about my Violet Boss palette, but it's my whole, it is my ride or die. It's my holy grail. <laughs> Babes, if you'd like to see how I put together this look today using my Violet Boss palette, then just keep watching. So first I'm just putting some extra Cotty Airspun under my eyes, and then I'm going in with my Benefit brow pencil and just filling in my brows. And then I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot on a synthetic brush and I'm just working that all over my eye area, dragging it out past my eyes and in the tear duct area as well because we're going to put shadow there. And then I'm also putting it under my lashes, on my bottom lashes, because I'm going to put shadow there as well so I want it to really stand out. So now we're just doing the other eye, same thing. 
So now I'm taking April on a fluffy brush and I'm just working that very high up on my transition area. So you want to put this as high as you can under your brow bone so you can make your whole eye look big. And then I am taking Erica on, on again on my fluffy brush and I'm just putting that in the same area. Just tapping a little bit extra on the outer corner for intensity. So then I'm taking Caitlyn on a little bit slimmer fluffy brush. I'll link it below and I'm flicking upwards after I do my windshield wiper motions. You want to flick upwards to get that really nice blend and then under my eyes as well. So now I'm mixing Caitlyn and Josie on a very tiny fluffy brush. This is from Morphe. I'll put it below and I'm just working that now lower in my transition area and deepening it up. And of course, tapping on the outer corner for intensity. And I'm taking that same color, Caitlin, on a pencil brush on my lower lashes. So now I'm taking that gorgeous color, Jean, and I'm putting that on my crease area. You kind of want to feel where your eyeball starts to kind of curve, and that's where you can lay down the color. For a new eyelid if you're like me and you have zero eyelids that's what I do <laughs> so now I'm taking Ella and I wet my brush and I'm just layering it layering that on top of Jane and then you want to take Abigail on a pencil brush and just where the colors meet you want to lay it down so you get a nice blend and then I went back in with Josie on a slim fluffy brush just to blend everything together so now I'm just highlighting my brow bone with Ella and just pulling down very lightly and then again taking a clean fluffy brush and just blending so now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs brown out smudging liner and I'm just smudging that into my lower waterline and then I went in with Mac Cole black eyeliner on top of it to intensify it. So now I'm taking my L'Oreal gel liner and with this Morphe bent brush brush I am just lining my upper lashes with it. So this is a really great gel liner from L'Oreal. And I'm just taking it up for a little bit of a cat eye. and just really pulling it along my lashes. So I just love this brush so much and this gel liquid. This gel liner is just so great from L'Oreal. You can just keep building up to get your wing thicker and thicker. So now I'm taking my Ardell lash glue and I love using the brush, it's so easy and I just brush it right on my lashes. These are my Morphe So Glamorous lashes. I really love them. And now I'm taking some more liquid liner and I'm just going over the lash band to disguise it. You can use any liquid liner. So now I'm just blending in all my powder in my face, just pushing it in. And I'm taking my Tom Ford bronzer. Now I'm taking my Anastasia glow kit and I'm just getting my cheeks glowing now. This is MAC blush from Mariah Carey. I just put a little bit on my cheeks and then I'm dragging it backwards for, I call that like a Barbie look when you blend it into your bronzer. It kind of gives you that Barbie kind of effect. So now I'm taking my LA Girl red lip liner. I absolutely love it. And I'm just putting that all over my lips. And then I just take a white eyeliner type of color and I just use that to clean up the edges of my lips and now I'm just taking a little bit of Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter and I'm just popping that on the center of my lid because I just love that effect and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous this is just such a great glitter this is the final look I 
So babes, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching my little Violet Voss tutorial today. I think this is just such a gorgeous wearable look. There's just so many gorgeous combinations that you can do with this palette. I know I had also focused more on these a little bit more cooler toned the other day. And so I pretty much do the same exact thing but use more of the cooler shades. So there's just so many endless combinations that you can make with this palette. It is so much fun. It is pricey, but I mean, the effect, you it leaves you feeling very, very just amazing because it's so blended so perfectly, so easily. So you just feel very confident when you have a super <laughs> blended eye. So thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. Uh, I hope you will please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I would really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you'd like to see any more looks from this palette or if there's any palettes that uh, you have your eye on that you'd like for, to see looks from. Let me know. I would love to do them. I love hearing your guys' suggestions. You always come up with the best, most creative ideas. So, um... I really, really love when you guys give me ideas because you're so, you guys have the best ideas. What can I say? <laughs> so thanks again so much for coming to hang out with me and I will see you babe soon. Bye.